Hey, it's your boy, um, BX119. I'm running uh, Synergy Mod 7.1 on my Nexus S. I just wanted to show you that my Nexus S hit 4,820. I never had a phone past that. My prior phone was 1620 which to 635 on my original droid and my next and my galaxy s phones didn't even pass 2700 even overclocked at 1.6 or 7 gigahertz and my g2 the most will pass probably 3200 when it's overclocked from 1.7 to 1.9 gigahertz uh, now this one is running 1.5 4 gigahertz which is 1544 um 1544 1544 megahertz um minimum and maximum on um, performance so let's go back on quadrant standard uh yes you saw it was 4820 uh, I got a score from six four thousand six hundred and change, so it varies depending on depending probably on the clock and and on the set and on the super user if it's not foreclosing the application. Now the f uh, frame per second is sixty five in the bottom as you can see, and then the frames of the um, picture in the background as it moves it tells you how many times it. Um, how many times the frame is moving around the area of the uh, thing? So right now, I got three thousand and, and twelve. That's pretty weird. I just had four thousand a few minutes ago. I don't know. This says CPU is weird. Um, let's go back again. That that was a weird number, three thousand and twelve. But let's go back again, so you will see that this is a fluke. Um, I heard that the Best ROM to have if you want to have the high, the number high is probably um, M Matrix ROM running on Android 2.3.7 OS on the Expedia Developer .com. and I am running Trinity ROM as well, which is the I mean Trinity kernel. My bad. Um, that's what I'm running at 1.554 gigahertz instead of running a 1.444 that comes with CM7. So this is the number now, as you can see there, uh, 5,112. I think that's pretty damn high for a device. I never had a device passing 3,200 on the G2. And then on the Galaxy S phones, I ran 262700 at most. And this is my next S. I'm running pretty much the highest I ever had on the device. This is higher than even the um, the Galaxy S2 off. I mean, on stock, on stock is about four thousand, if not maybe four thousand two hundred. But this is pretty high for a device, in my opinion. Uh, maybe on their phones they might run up to six thousand at one point. But this one is running one five thousand one hundred twelve. I seen people running six thousand on um, benchmarks before, so. On the Nexus, so that's not a shock. Anyways, to me, it's a good device. So you just check it out, and if you don't have this phone, you should, you know, go to a Craigslist. You know, maybe ch check your options if you think this phone is low, um, low end. My opinion is pretty high end. The only thing I don't like about this phone is probably that it does not have a LED notification, but it has front face camera, it has everything I like. So see you guys later.